Hi, this is Rob from YourStreamingTV.org. Before we start the video, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share, and click on the link in the description to visit us at YourStreamingTV.org, where you could address any concerns or find more information on streaming TV. Today, we're going to show you how to install Kodi on Apple TV. To install Kodi on your Apple TV, you're going to need two things. One, you're going to need a program and you're going to also need a file. And you're going to need to download these either on a laptop or a computer. You'll need to go to the website that you see located on the screen there, which is Cody.ipa.com. From there, you'll go there and you'll find the file. Right over here, it'll say the Apple version can be found here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to bring us to the latest version for Apple TV. We're going to go ahead and click on this. And it's going to start to download it, as you can see right over here. Depending upon the speed of your internet connection, it might go slower or faster. Also, make sure you know where you're saving the file so you can easily find it. Once you have that file downloaded, we're going to go get the next program we need, which is called the Cydia Impactor. You're going to get that at the web address right over here at CydiaImpactor.com. Once you have that correct URL entered, click on Go. And you're going to select what version you're using. If you're using Mac, you'll click on Mac, Windows. We're using Windows, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. That's going to also download and install. Like I said, make sure you remember where you're saving it so it's easier for you to find it. So now we're going to go ahead and open up the files that we just downloaded. So on my Windows 10 computer, I'm actually able to right mouse click on it, which it has a little bit of time left for the download. So we're going to go ahead actually and click on the impactor first. Since that's already downloaded, we'll click on show in folder. Like I said, yours, you might have to find where you saved it to. So you can see it's right over here where it says impactor. We're going to go ahead and minimize the screen. And actually, I'm going to put mine in over here. I already have a file open, which you can see it's already there because I've already downloaded it. So we're going to replace it. So once you have it there, you're going to want to go ahead and right mouse click on it and extract all. You might need a WinZip program if you don't already have one installed on your computer. They're really easy to find and install. So we're going to go ahead and click on extract all. Then we'll click on next. Make sure you recognize where you're saving it. So now it's been downloaded and installed. And here is the program right over here. We're going to double click on the program. Right. And if you have Windows 10, you're going to click Install anyway. You're not going to find it at the App Store. All right, you can see now it has opened up. And we already have our Apple TV connected to our computer. You're going to need yours connected to be able to do it. Because if it's not connected, you won't see that it says Apple TV over here. So your connection must be from your Apple TV to your computer. All right, and once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back to our browser and now we're going to go ahead and click on the Kodi file. We'll click on show in folder. Now we're going to see that it's open there. We're going to minimize this window again and we're going to drag this into the folder where we have the other one. Now you could see it's here. So all you got to do is drag it to the city impactor and now it's going to want you to enter your iTunes login. I'm going to go ahead and pause it because you need to enter your username and password, whatever is in your Apple TV. All right, we've already went ahead and entered the username. Now we've entered the password. We're gonna go ahead and click on OK. As you can see right now, it is starting to install. This might take a little bit, so we're gonna actually pause this and come back to it when it's complete. All right, now as you can see, the process is complete. So you can go ahead and connect it back to your HDMI if it's already not connected to your TV. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the Apple TV. Now, as you can see, we have Kodi installed. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. It's going to load up. All right. And for the first time running it, you're going to have to go under the gear icon right over here. We're going to go ahead and click on it. Now we're going to go ahead and click on system settings. We're going to go ahead and click on add-ons. Now we're going to check the unknown sources button to the right so we can enable third-party add-ons. We're going to go ahead and click on yes. 
And now we could exit out of this screen. We could show you right now the file that we downloaded. We actually have the latest version of Kodi, which you could see right there. It is 617.6. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this menu back into Kodi's main menu. That is how you install Kodi on your Apple TV. If you have any questions or issues or concerns on your install of it, you could always message us through YouTube or click on the link in the description to visit us at yourstreamingtv.org. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.